because this time of year, a lot of the caddises are smaller and darker. Now, we've gone through two months of caddis hatches. And we're now into our second month towards the end of the caddis hatch. It's almost over and there's very little happening just at dark and there's early morning stuff and at dark stuff and it seems like the caddises are tinier and darker almost black so I'm gonna tie a dark caddis pupa pattern smaller in hook size I'm gonna use the 1530 in the Daiichi in a size 14 I'll even go down as size 16 and uh, it's going to be very similar. It's a soft hackle pattern again. The body is going to be dark brown and it's going to be that SLF squirrel dub dark brown. And again, because the hook is half the size, we're going to use a little bit less material. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of a bump of a dubbing on dark brown of course I'm going to put a little bit different type of ice dub shuck I'm gonna use what we call UV tan and that's a hairline product also I'm just gonna take because I only want a little bit of this this stuff is a little bit more stringy than the last one so what I'll do is I'll tie it on I'll see what I want to use I'll pinch it off and there it is just a tiny bit that might be too much again so what I'll do is I'll take my scissors and give it a little bit of a tapered cut I just want a tiny bit in there again I want a little bit of CDC so what am I going to do? I'm going to use a darker brown because this whole fly should be very dark. So I happen to have a dark brown CDC feather. It's right here. I'm going to pick up the right feather. There it is. Now we have a dark brown CDC feather. All right, we found our CDC feather. We've added a half a dozen strands. I'm gonna clean up the head a little bit. I'm gonna clean up that little bump in the front. This being this small a fly, we're actually wanting to keep it as small as everything's gonna be small. The wing, the hackle, the, the CDC. Even this upper wing is gonna be used as a smaller wing. Now I'm going to put that on. I'm going to sneak my thread in and tighten it down. Yeah, that's what I want. A little tiny wing. Because this fly is smaller, we're going to... I can use the angle of the eye to cut off my CDC or my feather. And okay, let's pick another feather that looks good and small. We'll add it again, squeeze on my other fingers. The feather was much bigger, but I only used the part that I wanted, which was the ends of it. Now I'm kind of folding this up so that it's out of the way, so when I cut it, I won't cut into any other pieces. We'll clean that right up. Top, bottom, sides, everything. Now I want to just put a couple more wraps on because I only had a couple holding. There we go. That one is just getting to be what we're after. I don't know if I want that much bugginess on the bottom yet okay we'll get rid of it 
let's clean up that eye a wee bit because it'll bulk up the head alrighty got that next step we might want to put a just a couple of strands of uh, Hungarian partridge legs on it and this one I might just add them to the bottom you can add them by just placing them on the bottom on one side and throw a loose wrap down and it'll it'll collect those fibers and keep them on the bottom and we don't want excess at all we want to just just a few fibers and if I have too many I can pull out the longer strands and they're out of the way now I've got a nice tiny caddis pupa and I'll add a tiny bit of a dubbed head just a tiny bit just to finish it off and this is even smaller than the other part it's almost the thickness of the thread is the mount that I'm putting on there you just need just enough to give it a little bit of a buggy bump and of course we'll do our whip finish finish it off tighten up the eye and there is one of the other signature little caddis pupa that I like to use when I go out this one probably hooks more fish than anything but it doesn't land that many because it's so small but when nothing else is working this one will always get you a bite and I'll put a little tiny bit of glue on this thing we don't want it to fall apart on the first fish we want to catch at least 10 or 15 fish on a fly And there is my other signature caddis pupa pattern, the little chocolate brown one. And that one does the trick quite often.